Camp Darby. Rangers arrive and prepare to face 26 obstacles in the unforgiving Darby Queen obstacle course. Once they get out to Camp Darby, they'll get, kind of get reset in that order and then start uh, negotiating the Darby Queen. End of the Derby Queen, Team 49 holds tight to the first position. That's how you stay competitive in this, in this tournament. This competition is clean runs, stay in the top five. Non-stop action moves competitors quickly to Friar Field, where they rig airdrop gear for the next stage of their scoring. Team 49, still in first position, must fly 1,200 feet above Friar Field and jump from the Blackhawk for a spot jump. The National Guard's High School Player Development Sponsor Program provides an opportunity for state high schools to compete on a whole new level and for recruiters to develop a unique school entry vehicle. High school sports are a staple in the fabric of American culture and a rite of passage to many young men and women. The small town in Ohio, uh, football's big on Friday nights. It's about the uh, love of the game, it's about the growth and development, it's about the passion of the game of football. It's a, it's a huge part of the, the culture and the community. Hard work, dedication, excellence of the players and coaches is an aspect that we, we train our soldiers. So the combination of that is a perfect opportunity for, those, for football and the National Guard to come together to create leaders in the community, leaders on the field and off the field, and that's what we do here at the National Guard Border Ball. It puts a face to the National Guard. It's, uh, it's an opportunity for for every uh, citizen in, in the Commonwealth and in, within Tennessee that come up for the game to, to meet and see some of the, the soldiers that a lot of times they don't get exposure to. High school rivalry sponsorships offer a targeted and cost-effective opportunity to recruit to one of our most important demographics, the young men and women considering their career and college options for the future. We've been, we've been treated great. There's none that I can ask for that, uh, that we haven't got. It's top notch. Very surprised at the, uh, the level of popularity that uh, is kind of uh, unfolded with it in terms of, uh, you know, uh, schools and communities wanting to be tied into it. Uh, you know, what, what it gives us the opportunity to do is really kind of bring two passions together, and that is, uh, you know, America's love for the military and also love for the game of football and really bring the two events together and kind of really build that community support. 100,000 young boys from all corners of the globe invade the hills of West Virginia for the biggest event in Boy Scout history. Okay, here's the deal. The National Jamboree is scouting showcase. Boys and girls from all walks of life, from all over America, from scouting and venturing, will be headed to the summit for the 2013 National Jamboree, the biggest event in all of scouting. For many of you scouts and venturers, this will be the first Jamboree experience of your lives. And it's time to go big and get wild. This will be historic. This will be the first Jamboree ever at the Summit. And the Summit is the biggest project in the history of scouting. And for the first time ever, venturing will be part of the Jamboree. 
pie adventure, shooting sports, pet quests, patch trading, you won't want to miss it. Friends, fun, and oh yeah, adrenaline.